my very most beautiful Virgo. How are you? I hope everyone is doing amazing. So my lovelies, we are gonna be doing your November mid-monthly reading. And this reading is going to go from now through the remainder of November. It is a general reading and it may not be able to resonate for all of you. So if you guys want something that is, you know, tailored for your exact energy, then I do have personals open. And everything that you guys will need to know, um, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that will be in the description box below for you. So Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding. For my very most beautiful Virgo, please. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Virgo's energy. A very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you. We are going to pull some cards for your energy. And then we're going to pull cards for the person you're dealing with. And then we will pull some potential outcome cards. bottom of the deck we have these six of pentacles in the reverse yeah so i do feel like there's something here that you guys are just choosing not to continue to give to some of you guys could be cutting off communication or you know somebody is cutting off communication there's something here where i do feel like the communication is either slowed way down or stopped altogether okay we're gonna have to take a look we're gonna grab your person's cards and see what's going on here Show me the person that Virgo is dealing with in this situation. What is their energy towards Virgo? The tower just fell out. We will see if that makes its way back out into your reading. Show me the person Virgo is dealing with. What is their energy towards Virgo? Now through the remainder of November. What is their energy towards Virgo? Now through the remainder of November, please. Okay. Yeah, so a lot of you guys, I think you guys are the ones that are cutting communication off. But we will see. It could be the person you're dealing with interesting energy so they have the magician at the bottom of the deck with the six of wands so they do want some kind of victory here um they have the knight of swords in the reverse here so there it could be something here where they they did cut communication off but they do want a success here they they are trying to manifest some kind of success with you okay some kind of you know positive outcome so we're gonna have to take a look at this i don't know that you are on the same page it does feel like you guys are not quite on the same page here let's see what's going on we're gonna clarify as we go but you have the eight of wands like i said in the reverse so either they cut off communication or you did but i definitely feel like there's a lack of communication here in your heart space you have the magician in the reverse so I do feel like you could feel like this person plays a lot of games. You could feel like this person plays a lot of emotional games, like likes to try to mess with your emotions. That is something that is coming up. And maybe you even feel like they stop communicating with you or they cut communication off or that the way that they communicate with you um, is just to play games with you or just to mess with your emotions, just to manipulate your emotions or get a certain reaction out of you. Okay. Now, for how you see them as the four of wands in the reverse. So some of you guys could feel like this is your twin flame if that's something that you resonate with. Um, you also feel like there's just something here where things just aren't working out. Things just aren't going to go the way that you want them to. The four of wands is a card of celebration. It's a card of a finish line of an accomplishment. Okay, so in the reverse, it's kind of the opposite. You know, things just aren't working out the way that you want them to. And you feel like they can't with this person because they keep playing these games. Um, so your energy, your action is the eight of pentacles in reverse. You're trying not to put all of your focus on it, trying to focus on some other things. I do feel like um, you're questioning whether this is something you even want to continue to work on because of the way that this person is, because of that manipulation that they do here. Now, you could very well be right. You know, they could definitely have stopped communication because they want some kind of victory with you. They want some kind of outcome. They have a specific outcome in mind, okay? Um, and so they can definitely be a little bit of a manipulation here. They are definitely trying to make something happen, and they want it to be their way and on their terms. So they are still holding on to this, though. This is in their headspace. They have, even if they've acted like they've let this go, or they don't think about this, or they don't care, that's crap. Um, they definitely do. They're still really holding on to this, okay? Um, look how tightly she has clung to that tree. She is not going nowhere. You know, and neither is this person, um, even if they act otherwise. In their heart space, they have the Ace of Pentacles. They have every intention of, you know, um, reaching back out to you, offering you something. They have every intention 
of being with you. What They're just playing some kind of game here, which I do it, moving forward, okay? Um, how they see you is the two of pentacles. So I feel like they're trying, they think you're trying to just keep it together or trying to find some balance without them, you know, trying to make a decision, trying to figure it out here. Um, that's kind of how they're seeing you at this time. And they also have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse for their action. So the thing is, is that they're not actually willing to put the work in on it either. I feel like what they do is they try to, somebody had a very similar reading. It was another earth sign. It could have been Taurus. Um, Taurus had a very similar reading as well. Actually, all the earth signs kind of, it's the same kind of energy. I feel like you guys are all dealing with, you know, similar situations here. Not They're not exactly the same, but it's like earth signs are seeming to kind of, you know, have a lot of the same stuff going on. So I do feel like um, maybe you're dealing with another earth sign or maybe you just have more earth in your chart. Now, this person isn't actually willing to change or put the work in, okay, because they have the eight of pentacles in the, in the reverse. So they just want to play the games and get the reaction they want. They don't actually want to put the work in to get the reaction that they want, you know, to get the outcome that they want. So totally different vibes here, okay? So we're going to clarify and see what's going on here. Tell me about this eight of wands in the reverse. Why is the eight of wands here in the reverse, please? We have the empress card. I do feel like you could be worried about, yeah, and the justice card in the reverse. So you feel like things are unfair. You feel like you've given an awful lot to this connection. Um, you feel like you know your value. You feel that you are, you know, you put the work in and you are very valuable and you put a lot into the connection and that the way that you're getting treated is very unfair. Okay, and I feel like you're absolutely right with that. Tell me why the magician is showing up in the reverse in the heart space. We have the seven of pentacles in the reverse. So you feel like this person is just wasting your time. You feel like they are just playing games with you um, just to get a certain reaction out of you. Tell me about this four of wands in the reverse. Why does Virgo see this person as the four of wands in the reverse? We have the eight of swords in the reverse. So you're feeling like, you know, this is somebody that you need to release, that things aren't going to work out, that you just need to release this. Um, it's almost like this like war between your, mar your heart and your mind because there's a part of you that knows that. You see this person and you see what they're doing to you and you know that you need to release it. But I feel like you're just having a little bit of a harder time actually doing that. Okay? And that's okay. It's a process. Okay? Some things are easier said than done all the time. Okay? So just be kind and gentle to yourself. So tell me about this four of, tell me why the four of pentacles is here. You got the King of Cups. So this person does love you deep down. Okay, they do love you, and that's why they're still holding on. They just don't want to have to change or want to have to put the work in. Tell me why this Ace of Pentacles is here in the heart space, the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Because they would miss you too much. They, like, that's why. The, they don't actually, and the Queen and the Queen of Cups, this person does see you as their divine counterpart. Um, I do feel like this person could be a little bit of a narcissist, this person that plays a little bit of games. They do love you. Um, they do see you as their person. Um, they have every intention of getting back with you. They just are playing these games right now just to get things on their terms, okay, to have things be their way. And so they don't actually have to like, change or try. They, got the hang they see you as the hangman. So they feel like you're stuck on them, that you're just trying to regain your balance without them here. Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Why is the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse here? We got the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. So they still don't plan on being fully faithful and committed. Okay, they don't actually plan on putting the work in. Um, it's more just seeming like more of the same, more of these games, okay? They still want you, but they want you on their terms. They don't want to have to work for it. They don't want to have to make an effort. They don't want to have to stay committed. So show me some potential outcomes for Virgo. What potential outcomes do we have for Virgo? Any potential outcomes that we have for Virgo for the rest of November, please? The lovers in the reverse. Ace of Cups in the reverse. So, yeah, I feel like there's a major disconnect here, okay, and you feel that. And I do feel like you guys are finally getting to this breaking point of where you know that something has to change or you know that you have to release this, that you're not going to be able to get the same love back that you give. Okay, um, you're starting to see this person's true colors and it's getting harder and harder to ignore. So, yeah, and you don't trust this person. You get the king of swords at the bottom of the deck in reverse. You don't trust them. Yeah, you see them as somebody who's like an in and out, inconsistent player type person. Okay, and you just don't want to keep doing that to yourself. So we're going to get you some confirmation, clarification, and some advice, my love. 
Archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, what confirmation, clarification, or advice do we have for my very most beautiful Virgos, please? What confirmation, clarification, or advice do we have for my very beautiful Virgos? Any confirmation, clarification, or advice? We have, look at the bigger pi picture, full moon in Sagittarius. So Spirit's asking yourself, look at the bigger picture. Do you really think you can have the life that you want with this person? You know, is this something that you want to continue to go through for the long term? We have, it's a time to give rather than take, new moon in Virgo. And adjustments are required. So I do feel like there's something here that you guys already know what you need to do, but it's time to give action. It's time to, you know, give some energy into what you're going to do moving forward. Um, there are some changes that need to be made here with that adjustments are required. But I do feel like intuitively you guys already know what to do. Okay. So that is what I have for you, my loves. And if this resonates, please let me know in the comments down below. And if it doesn't, check out your other sign placements. Sometimes your moon rising and Venus can resonate more than your sun sign does. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Guys, if you hit that notification bell, so when we do our monthlies, mid-monthlies, weeklies, and bonuses, you guys can be notified and you can go check them out. But most importantly, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, you guys can just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and I will pray for you. So I'm sending so much love and light. Until next time.